Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Crochet. My name is Jeremy, and in today's lesson, we're gonna be learning how to do a granny square. Yes, from start to finish, I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing so you will be making your granny square today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, it means the world to me, and let's get started. Okay guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am so excited about showing you how to do a granny square. Um, today you're going to need a hook. I am using a six millimeter or a J sized hook today. Um, it's a nice size. I really like using that size. Um, also, I'll be using Yarn B True Colors. This is Amethyst. So I'll be using this uh, in today's crochet tutorial. So let's get started. I have my yarn here. I'm going to make a slip knot, one, two, over my finger, just like so. I'm going to pull that first one over the second one, and then pull that second one up and over my finger, and pull that a little tight, and that gives me a slip knot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook through, pull the tail, and it should get a little tighter. If the tail doesn't work, then the then the yarn will work too. So you can pull either one and, uh, and it should tighten up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around our hands like so. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's six chains right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do after that, we're going to actually make a circle. So we're going to look for the very first chain that we did here, this chain right here, and we're going to put, take our hook and we're gonna put it through that first chain, like so. So you'll have it on your hook just like that like a little U, a little swing. And so uh, what you wanna do is, after you get that, whoops, I'm put, putting the wrong thing on my hand. After you get that uh, on your hook, you're gonna want to yarn over, turn, grab that yarn, pull it through once, and pull it through twice. And that's gonna be a little slip knot that you're gonna get there. And the chain is gonna be completely sealed there. Now what we're gonna do, once we have our circle made, see it has a little hole here, um, we're going to chain three, so that's yarning over, pulling it through once, yarning over, pulling it through twice, yarning over, and pulling it through a third time. That's gonna be three chains that you just made. Now what you wanna do is, we're going to double crochet right into the hole. And what I mean by that is we're going to yarn over, we're gonna take the hook now, we're gonna go through the hole, and we're gonna yarn over, we're gonna catch that yarn, and we're gonna pull it right through that hole. So now we're going to make our, our double crochet. So we have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull it through two loops, yarn over, pull it through the other two loops and then you have your first double crochet. And then next, we're going to do one more double crochet. You're gonna yarn over, go through the hole. You're gonna yarn over again, turning, catching that yarn, pulling it through the hole. And then we're going to yarn over, turning that hook, catching that yarn, pulling it through once. And then yarn over, turning your hook, catching that yarn, and pulling it through the other two loops. And then you have three this counts as your first double crochet, this, this three chain here. And then you have one, two double crochets. So you have three loops, like three double crochets on your chain. So now we're gonna want to Now we're gonna want to chain three. One, two, and three 
And then we're going to want to do another three double crochets in the hole. So we're going to yarn over, go through the hole, yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the hole. We should have three loops on our hook here. And then we're going to yarn over, pulling it through the first two loops, yarn over, pulling it through the second two loops. Let's make two more. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go through the hole, we're going to yarn over, we're going to catch that yarn, we're going to pull it up through the hole, we're going to yarn over, we're going to catch that yarn, pull it through two loops, yarn over, catch it through and pull it through two more. All right, let's try that one more time. Yarn over, through the hole, yarn over, Pull it through the hole, yarn over, go through two of the loops. Then we're gonna yarn over and go through the next two loops. There we go, we have six double crochets in the round here. So what we're gonna do is crochet three more, three more, uh, th with three more chains. One, two, and three. And this is what we should be looking at right here, right now, is the six double crochets and the three chains right here. So let's go ahead and do three more double crochets in the hole. That's yarning over, going through the hole, yarning over, pulling that yarn through the hole, yarning over, going through once, twice, yarning over, going through the next two loops. So yarn over, through the hole, yarning over, pulling it through the hole, yarning over, going through the first two loops, yarning over, and going through the next two loops. We have one more to do. Yarn over, through the hole, yarn over, catching that yarn, pulling it through the hole, yarning over, going through two, yarning over, and then going through the next two. Okay, so now that you have your three double crochets here, what we're gonna do is we are going to chain three more. So that's one, two, and three. Let's see here. Oops, and three. <laughs> okay, so now that you have chain three, you're going to do three more double crochets into the circle here. So you're gonna yarn over, Go through the hole, yarn over, catch that yarn, pull it through, and you're going to yarn over again, pull it through two of the loops, yarn over again, pull it through the next two. Let's do that two more times. Okay, once we have the last three of these double crochets in here, what we're going to do next is we're gonna chain three. That's one, two, and three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna look right here where these chains are at. That was the first chains that we did to start the project. Now we're going to count up three chains from the circle. So that's one, let's get a little closer here. That's one, two, and three. So we got three chains here. On this third chain up here, we're going to take our hook, we're gonna go through the first loop there, and then there's another loop right here. You see that? And we're gonna go through that loop too. So there should be two loops on your hook here. It's the front and the back loop. So let's do that again. All right, so we're gonna go through the first loop and then we're gonna go through that second loop. Whoops. You sometimes you kinda of have to push it. 
um, and finagle it a little bit. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to yarn over, catch that yarn, pull it through both of those loops. My yarn is splitting a little bit. Uh, there we go. My yarn was splitting a little bit. Um, so what you want to do is pull it through both of those loops and then you'll have two loops on your hook here. What you want to do is you want to catch that first loop and pull it through that second loop. And that's called a slip knot when you do that. So we have four corners here and four three double crochets. Yay! Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go to this next hole over here. So your chains are here and this hole here. So we're gonna go into this hole and we're gonna do a double crochet. That's yarning over, hooking that yarn, pulling it through, going through, yarning over, going through the first two loops, yarning over again, going through the second two loops, and you have your first double crochet here. Now what you wanna do is two more. That's yarn over, hooking that yarn, pulling it through, yarning over, pulling it through the first two, and pulling it through the second two. One more. And then you have three right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna chain three. One, two, three. And in the same hole, we're gonna pull that over a little bit. And in the same hole, we're going to uh, do three more double crochets. So that's yarning over, going through the hole, catching that yarn, pulling it through. Yarning over, going through two of the loops. Yarning over, going through the next two. We can do two more. So here we go. It's so much fun doing the double crochets. They're so easy to do. And it makes such a beautiful like pattern on what you're doing. All right. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna go ahead and go into this next hole here. And we're gonna double crochet three times. And that's going through the next two loops on your hook. Okay, yarning over through the hole, yarning over, pulling it through the hole. One, two, and then one, two. And then we're gonna do one more, yarning over, through the hole, yarning over, back through the hole, yarning over, through the two, and then yarning over through the next two. So that's three more double crochets. Now we're gonna do three chains, one, two, and three. And we're gonna go ahead and do three more double crochets. I'll speed this up. Okay, once you're done with that corner, we're gonna chain three again. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna go to the next corner. So we're gonna go ahead and do three more double crochets in this hole now, the next hole over. Okay, so once you get that first three double crochets, you wanna chain three more. And once you get that next three chains in here, you're gonna to want to do three more double crochets in this hole.
Okay, and once you have those two, three double crochets in this hole, you're gonna want to chain three. One, two, and three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this next hole and we're gonna do three double crochets. That's yarning over, going through the hole, yarning over, catching that yarn, pulling it back through the hole. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go through one, two, and then you're gonna go through the next two. That's one double crochet. So let's do two more. Yarning over, through the hole, yarning over, pulling that yarn through the, through the hole, yarning over, through two loops on your hook, and then yarning over and through the next two loops. Do that one more time. And then what we're gonna do is, after we get those three double crochets on our hook, I mean on our pattern, we're going to go ahead and yarn over, chain one, yarn over, chain two, yarn over, chain three. And then we're gonna put three more double crochets in this hole here. So let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So after you get your three double crochets in here, we're gonna go ahead and chain three. Once we're done chaining three, what we're going to do is we're going to do two double crochets into this hole here, just two double crochets. So that's one, let's see here. Do one double crochet, yarn over through the hole, yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the hole. We're gonna yarn over, pulling it through the two loops, yarn over, pull it through the next two loops. Now, once we have two double crochets on this, on this uh, pattern here, we're going to look to the left here where these chains are. Now, there's going to be one, two, three chains here, right? One, two, and three. What we're going to do is we're going to go through, put our hook through one and two loops there. I don't know if you saw that or not. Let's go back through. We got one, two, three chains. We're gonna go through one loop here, and then we're gonna go through the next loop in the back. You should have a V on your hook here. So what you wanna do with your yarn is, you want to yarn over, pull it through those two loops, pull it through those two loops, and then you wanna take this one and you just wanna pull it right through that loop there. And that's called a slip stitch when you do that. And then you're going to chain one, two, three. And you're going to go into the hole directly where this chains are coming up into this hole here. You're gonna do two double crochets. So let's do two double crochets in this hole. Okay, that'll leave you with three chains here. One, two double crochets, and then these three chains here. That counts for a double crochet. And then what we're gonna do is, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to double crochet into this hole here, to this next hole over. So we're going to go into here. We're gonna catch that yarn, pull it through, we're going to go through those two, and go through those two. We're gonna do that two more times. Yarn over, through the hole, yarn over, catching that yarn, pulling it through the hole, back through the hole. We're gonna go through those two, and then we're gonna go through these two on your hook. Do that one more time. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Now chain three. One, two, 
and three. And then we're going to do three more double crochets in this hole. Now you're gonna have the six double crochets in that hole and then the chains here. So what we're, we're, what we're gonna wanna do next is we're gonna wanna chain. <clears throat> now what we're gonna wanna do here is we're gonna wanna chain one and then in this hole right here, the next hole over, we're going to double crochet three more. And that's yarning over, going through the hole, catching that yarn, pulling it back through the hole, yarning over, going through the two loops, yarning over again and going through the next two loops. And once you have three double crochets in this hole here, we're gonna want to chain one, go to the next hole over in this corner here. We're gonna want to yarn over and do three double crochets in this hole. It's yarning over, pulling it through the hole, going through one, two loops, and then going through one, two more loops. All right, let's do two more double crochets. One, two, three. All right, now we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, once we chain three, we're going to, in the same hole, we're gonna double crochet three more. Yarning over, going through the hole, yarning over, bringing it back through the hole. We'll have three loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over, going through two of those loops. Then we're gonna yarn over and go through the next two. One, two more, so let's see here. Let's do two more double crochets. Yarning over through those two, yarning over, going through those two. All right, once we get our three double crochets here, we're gonna want to chain one, and then in the center hole here, we're gonna to want to do three double crochets. It's one. Let's see here. Go through those two loops. Yarning over, going through those two loops. That's one double crochet. Yarning over through the hole, catching that yarn, pulling it back through. Yarning over, going through those two loops. Yarning over, going through the next two. We have one more to do in here. So that's yarning over through the hole, hooking that yarn, pulling it back through, yarning over, oops, yarning over, pulling it through those two, yarning over, pulling it through those two. And then what we're gonna wanna do next is, we're gonna wanna chain one. And then we're gonna go into this next hole here in the corner. And we're going to do three double crochets. That's one.
And we've got three double crochets here. So we're gonna wanna chain three more. One, two, and three. And then in that same hole, we're going to double crochet three more. Now once we have all three double crochets done in this hole here, third one, so we have six double crochets here. Now we're gonna wanna chain one, and then this middle hole right here, we're gonna want to double crochet three more. That's yarning over, going through the hole, yarning over again, turning that hook, catching that yarn, pulling it through. And then we're gonna wanna yarn over, pull it through the first two loops, yarn over, pull it through the second two loops. That's gonna be three double crochets. Now we're gonna want to chain one again. And then in this next hole, we're gonna want to yarn over, we're gonna do a double crochet, three double crochets again. So that's in through the hole, catching that yarn, pulling it out. We'll have three loops on our hook. We're gonna go yarn over, pull it through those two, yarn over, pull it through the next two. And we want two more of those, two more double crochets. And then we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. So you have the hook up, face up. What you wanna do is, you're gonna to wanna to yarn over, you're gonna to wanna to go through that hole, and you're gonna to wanna to yarn over again, and then see how the hook is facing up? You wanna turn that hook around, face down, you're gonna pull it, catch that yarn, and you're gonna pull it through that hole. And then you're gonna turn it back up to the top again. So that's yarning over, turning that hook, catching your yarn, pulling it through one, two, getting it to go face up again. Then you're gonna yarn over, turning that hook, catching that yarn, and you're gonna pull it through two more loops, and then you're gonna face up again. And that's how I, that's how I double crochet. So let's do two more double crochets. Turning that hook, going through the hole, Yarning over, turning that hook again, going through the hole, pulling it to where you have three yarns on your hook. Yarning over, turning that hook, catching that yarn, pulling it through one, two. Yarning over, turning that hook, catching those that yarn and pulling it through the next two. Yarn over, through the hole. Yarn, o yarn over, turning that hook, catching that yarn, pulling it through. Now you have three, yarn over, Catching that yarn, pulling it through two. Yarn over, catching it, pulling it through those two. Now what you wanna do is, you wanna chain one. And you see here, you have three more chains here from when you first started. So what you wanna do is, with these three chains, one, two, three, you wanna count from the bottom. That's one chain, two chains, three chains. Let's, let's see that again. That's one, two, and three. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your hook through that third chain, that's the front and the back loop of that chain. So you should have the V going on on your hook. Now you're gonna to wanna to yarn over, catching that yarn, pulling it through those two. And then you're gonna to want to just take the yarn that's on your hook here Pull that first one right through that second one. And that's a slip stitch. And then look at that. Oh my goodness. 
we have a granny square. So awesome. I hope you guys found this really helpful. One thing I did want to tell you is, what do you do after you finish your granny square and you have it like this? Um, it's still attached to your, to your uh, skein of yarn, your ball of yarn. So what you want to do is, you want to get a pair of scissors and you're going to cut like a good amount of length, like, you know, like a good six inches. And what you want to do is go out and buy these if you haven't already. They're um, yarn hooks. And so the metal one actually has, it's a little bent at the ends here. And the, the plastic ones tend to be straight. So what you want to do is you want to take your, your yarn pin here and you want to put it around your, your needle, your yarn needle, and you're going to want to squeeze it and pull it right off of there, just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to pinch it and push it right through and it comes right through that, the eye of that needle. It's so easy to do you guys. So, and then once, once you have this, your yarn through your, the eye of your needle, you can just take that yarn, go right through that loop here and then pull it through and you pull this tight and it'll make a little knot there. And then you want to weave what's called weaving in your ends. You want to just take this and you want to go through anywhere in your project really to weave in that end and nobody will be able to see it, tell a difference in, in your work. Just go through, I just go through all over the place to finish it off. See? And then I'll go back up through here. And then once I'm satisfied, I will take my scissors, snip this off, and voila, an awesome granny square. I hope this helped you guys. All right, you, have, you just made a granny square. Okay guys, there you have it. You made a granny square. That's so awesome. I hope everything was, was helpful to you. I hope you, it was easy to follow. And uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.